John, a nil nil draw at home this afternoon to school for a hard fought performance that I'm sure you're pleased with. Yeah, really pleased with the performance, much more like us. I think um, the tempo, the energy, the organisation, the discipline of the players um, to play from the shape. I think um, we were on the front foot. You know, all the boys did the jobs really well. Uh, we know Scunny are a really good team. Um, Jimmy's got a real, real good. Good team there, you know, some really good individual players who move the ball around really well. So we knew we had to be on it today, you know, tracking runners, um, recovery runs had to be quick. We had to get back into shape quick. And um, I thought the, the whole team performance was back to what it was um, earlier in the season when, you know, we were winning lots of games of football. And I said to the players before the game, you know, it's not rocket science football. You, you have to work harder than the team you're playing against off the ball. On the ball, you obviously have to be good in possession, which we haven't been recently either, but we're a little bit better today. You know, I think we could be miles better at that as well. But overall, really pleased with the performance against you know a team that you know was playing championship football, I think, 13 years ago, you know, um, League Two football three or four years ago, um, and obviously National League la na last year. So, you know, um, they've got a big budget, they've got some big players, players who have played. In the championship, you know, Butterfield, uh, Danny Elliott's played in the league, and the keepers played in the league. They've got really good quality throughout the team, so we knew we knew we had to be at it today. And fair play to the boys; they really showed up today. And I thought, you know, we created some good chances. I think Wilesley and Don have had a good, a good, good chances in the first half. I think Frank's had a couple in the game as well. Obviously, they've had a couple of attempts because they're a good team. Wits has made a couple of saves. I think Brown has made an unbelievable block, and Bales has made an unbe unbelievable block. But we knew we had to do that. We had to defend well, which I thought we did. Um, but overall, really, really pleased. You touched on it there. A real gritty performance that I suppose was night and day compared to Tuesday night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, I think um, I don't need to uh, go over my comments from the other day. You know, we knew it was poor. It was probably the worst we've played in possession, out of possession for a long, long time. Um, but one thing about this team is um, they, <laughs> they don't really make me lose my head very often. You know. Um, I think I can probably count on one hand over the last two and a half years how many times I've actually blew a casket. So, um, you know, it, it's not a regular thing. You know, it doesn't happen often. Um, but obviously it's happened and we were disappointed on the night. But the biggest thing we said to the players on Thursday at training was we needed a big reaction because if we, if we, if we felt sorry for ourselves, um, you know, and we, 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 we took that into the game today, we could have been absolutely battered. Um, but fair play to the boys. They took everything we said on Thursday at training. Me, um, Ingy, Blotty, and Jimmy said to the, said to them, and um, they give it a real good go today. And like I said to you, it's more like us. The tempo was good. We were on the front foot. We we won our tackles. Won first ball, second balls. We tried to pull air. We tried to counter attack them. Um, and like I said, we created three or four good chances. Um, and you know, we're pleased with a point. Um, maybe could have nicked it, but also they could have nicked it as well. But against a good team, like I said, Jimmy's got a really good team there. Some really good footballers, um, really make you work hard uh, because they keep the ball so well. Um, so I'm really delighted with the overall you know, outcome, really. Uh, and Walsy took a knock in the second half. Have you got an update on how he's getting on? Yeah, I mean, I thought Walsy was terrific um, today. I think, you know, everyone was really, really good, but Walsy's energy levels are second to none, you know. Um, you know, he can press, he can tackle, he can drive forward with the ball, he can get in the box. Um, and he's been, he's had a tight car for a few few days. He had it in the, la the last game as well. That's why we brought him off at half time. Um, but he's, he was fine to go today. And it just it just sort of like started cramping up uh, in the middle of the second half. So we didn't want to take any risks. Obviously, so many games coming up. Um, but he's been absolutely brilliant for us. Hopefully, it's not not so bad and it should be available for Tuesday we'll just let see what it's like tomorrow or Monday and uh, we'll gauge that but um, we've got great quality players to come into the team we've got Ollie Dyson hopefully coming back into the squad on Tuesday we've got obviously Will coming back from his suspension I think just towards the end of the game Perv's got booked so I think he might miss two games now because he's got 10 yellow cards which will be a massive miss um, but I don't think that comes into effect till Saturday so um, listen we've got players coming back in we've got players who can play well and like I said to you all the time if if we turn up if every single player turns up and the subs who come off the the bench turn up on, on any given day we can beat anybody in this league and uh, 
I've just said that to the boys, so there's nothing to fear. We'll go out the next 13 games and give it our best. And just to end with, we haven't got an exact attendance yet, but a really good turnout from both sets of fans this afternoon that made for a really good atmosphere. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. I said that to the players before the game. Um, you know, um, you know, there's going to be over two and a half thousand people here to support you. You know, I've mentioned it before. It really helps the players, and I think. Um, you know, we dug in the last 10 minutes as well, you know, just by the help from the support of the of the crowd. And like I say, you know, um, we've come a long way in such a sh short short space of time. I think my first home game was only just short of 700 people. So to have 2,500, 2,600 people at the, at the game against, like I said, a team that was in the Championship 13 years ago and we've given them a really good game, by the way. You know, a full-time team, we're only part-time, you know, they get to work on you know, lots of aspects of the game, you know, throughout a week, you know, in possession, out possession, set plays, you know, we have an hour and a half usually, if we play Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, we only have an hour and a half on a Thursday, so it's hard to get through every single thing. So credit to our boys, we've given them a really good game, um, we take it as a real positive and I just said to the players now, we need to try and get three points against Southport and uh, Gloucester away on Saturday and if we do that, you know, we get seven points out this week, you know, it's been a great week. Cheers, John.